Hello, everyone. I feel blessed as I recognize that America is a land of opportunity and freedom. And I believe that our safety and our health are our highest priorities. They go hand in hand with freedom. I first ran for office because I want to serve this great country. I've lived here in Cincinnati my entire life. I've served my patients as a doctor here for over 25 years. I served our nation in uniform for 22 years, one of those years in Iraq. And it's an honor to serve as your member of Congress. I've worked on important legislation while in Congress to improve the lives of Ohioans, from fixing a broken VA system to providing tax relief and higher wages to my fellow Americans. But we know there's more work to be done. There always is and always will be. Right now, we are working to restore our way of life as we recover from this global pandemic. Many have suffered, but at the same time, Many have also stepped up for their neighbors and communities and nation. We as Americans overcome challenges and we continually work to mend our every flaw. We find a path forward. I know this pandemic has been hard for every American and I'm committed to restoring our way of life. I'm committed to developing a safe and effective vaccine along with more effective treatments for those suffering from this unique virus. I'm committed to ensuring that we protect our fellow Americans that have pre-existing medical conditions and committed to ensuring the nation is prepared for future medical challenges as well as national security threats. I'm committed to upholding our constitutional freedoms, including our religious liberty. And I'm committed to caring for expecting mothers as well as the child that they carry in their womb as their hearts beat side by side. And I'll defend the rights of all Americans to peacefully protest. That is non-negotiable. Just as fighting to preserve law and order and equal justice is non-negotiable. I'm committed to rebuilding our economy in a way that increases take-home pay and creates opportunities for Americans from every walk of life because all Americans are essential. And I'm committed to working to transform our manufacturing base so we are more independent from China especially when it comes to our critical supply chains for healthcare, national defense, and our technology. I'm committed to renewing the American dream for all Americans. Our nation will flourish when we allow students to attend the school that they and their parents feel is best for them. Our nation will flourish when we support and fully respect career and technical education, which are the backbone of America, while we continue to advance higher education as well. And as part of the enduring American dream, we will deliver on the promises made to our seniors by protecting Medicare and Social Security. These are my commitments to you, and there's more work to be done, like in making sure that our families are safe in our neighborhoods and cities, to provide an environment where there's the opportunity to work hard and earn a fair living, and to stand up for American values both here and abroad. Individual freedom can lead to collective goodness. The virtues of the Declaration of Independence embedded in our Constitution must be protected and celebrated. That all are created equal and all are entitled to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let's all fly our American flag with a sense of pride and purpose and live up to the virtues that she embodies, including liberty and justice for all. Join me in working towards that each and every day. I hope to earn your support and earn your vote, as I appreciate having the honor of working for you in Congress. I'm Brad Wenstrup, and may God bless us all.